In this video, we're going to be working on some Lozy LMT differentials. What is going on everybody? RC Propaganda here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone is doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be taking the diffs out of my Lozy LMT. Uh, I'm going to inspect them and I'm going to swap out for some new fluids. Uh, I got some here from Lozy. I got my book, so we're going to take a look at what it comes with factory and what maybe I'm going to go with. So I did get some higher weight oil and I will be uh, figuring out exactly where and what I am going to use. So I'm going to set it up. I'm going to get to tearing down uh, the truck and get these diffs out. Uh, I hope it is a nice, easy uh, job to get the diffs out. So we'll you know, see what that process is like. We'll crack them open. We'll see if they're filled, how they look, and uh, you know, get them all tuned up and uh, ready for some hardcore bashing because that is what this truck has in the future. So uh, let's get the tools out and let's get to wrenching. All right, so here we are on the bench. Uh, to make this a little bit easier, I'm gonna take the body uh, off the chassis here. So now I'm assuming the center diff might be the easiest. Uh, it looks like it's right here underneath. So it looks like this is two millimeter. So we'll swap out there and get these out. Okay, whoa, lots and lots of sand in that. Look at that cover. I know I have driven in the sand, but that's crazy. Give me all, the all right, so here is the diff. I mean, that thing was very sandy in there. So to get it out, you just got to pop this cover off and it's held in with these pieces here and there's four screws and the diff slides in hook up your drive shafts you put these in tighten it up and it kind of uh just holds it in there um so i mean oh man look at the sand very sandy in there so um i'm gonna have to clean all in here where the the diff goes it's certain it certainly dirty in there for sure uh i'll add grease so here is the um other gear for the gearbox looks good but again oh the sand so good thing i got to this before that sand could kind of start doing any damage onto my gears so everything looks good uh just needs a bath so i'm gonna um Wipe this all off and uh, get ready to crack her on open. Give me all the problems. All right, so I got them cracked open nice and easy. Uh, the gasket, though, uh, I was a little worried about that. So I'm just going to be very gentle with that. I didn't rip it. But here is your Lozy diff. So it definitely has some fluid in there. Uh, it's very sludgy and thick. But the gears look really nice and thick there. Nice cuts. So it's good to see that it's, you know. So I'll pull all this out and uh, clean it up. So one thing I like about this truck is the manual is really good. It's very clear. So you can see this is what I did. So you just boom, boom, boom. But... It's nice, so you got everything here, so I can see how it all goes. Uh, but I did have to, you know, use the book to figure it out. But it is, you know, super easy. All right, so that's what uh, you got there. What you're, what you're looking at, what everything looks like, and the fluid that was in there. So I did refer to the book uh, to figure out how to take it out, and it's nice. They list the fluids right here. So center is 500k. So I think I'm going to go to uh 100 which is what the front and rear have and then i'm going to go to 125 in the front and rear because that's kind of 
all that I have. So that's how I think I'll try it, see what it's like, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to clean this diff all out, fill it up with the 100, and put it all back together, and then we can move on to the axle diffs. <laughs> center diff all back in it was a uh, pretty easy to do uh, you take off the cover and four screws two drive shaft pins and it slides out and then just your four screws holding it together uh, definitely be careful when you're opening it for that gasket and you should be able to reuse it mine didn't rip or anything uh, you might want to pick up some gaskets or Hopefully they offer some sort of nice rebuild kit so you can get everything all in one package because I would say it will need to be rebuilt after, you know, a fair amount of packs once you really get it broken in. I have no idea. We'll have to see how the, the gears hold up. But uh, I did bump it up on the center diff from 500 to, uh, from 500,000, 500 to 100,000 or uh, a million or no, 100,000 instead of 500,000. And then we're going to do the front and rear with 125,000. So, so we're bumping everything up just a little bit. But I got that center diff tuned. Sounds good. And uh, I'm ready to get to the front. Hopefully those are just as easy. So I'm going to start breaking it down, and uh, we'll take a look at those when I get them all out. <laughs> Okay, so I got the rear diff out. <clears throat> All you have to do is take off one of these. Um, but for whatever reason, on this side, which I don't get it, the screw is definitely stripped. I have never taken these off. So I have no idea why the head of that is stripped. So I'm going to have to uh, drill that one out next time I want to take it off. Um, I don't know. I kind of went to get it. I'm like, hmm, and I tried another one, and then I realized that it, it's definitely stripped out. I don't um, really have no idea why it's stripped out. But, I mean, I didn't use my drill at all until after the fact but it's definitely rounded right out but you know at this point it's okay i'll put the other three back in and i got the div out and just when i go to do anything else i'll have to do that um <clears throat> drill that out of there so i took the rear one out the gasket stayed in there uh <clears throat> real nice so no problems on the uh the rear looks okay got some fluid in it but we're definitely going to uh fill it up this one looks a little cleaner than the center for sure all right so got the rear full um what i've been doing is the book says three millimeters from the top of the housing so i just set my calipers and then i can push that down and see so basically you just got to cover the top of those gears, and then you're good to go. So that gasket stayed in there nice, but to help everything line up. So in the last one, I put the gasket on and put all the screws through. But this one, the gasket didn't move. So I'm just going to go ahead and get one screw on. 
and get it started. And then I can move to the other ones without that gasket being in the way. So I'll get this all buttoned up, get the rear all put back together. And one more, baby, we can move on to the front. There's what they think. Don't get parents criticize this at all. Going steady business. You go out with one boy three times. <clears throat> I mean, this is an example. You go out with one three times. And uh, well, uh, she's pretty much aligned as his girl. And the guys in Germany are even call her or something. You go out with three different guys and you're a dealer. And, <laughs> All right, well, that's it. The rear is all back on and ready to go. So now all we got to do is move on to the front and we'll be able to finish this bad boy up. So now that I've learned what I did in the back, apply it to the front and uh, it should go a little bit smoother. So uh, I'm going to get this all disassembled, get this oil in, and then we'll check back in when I'm all done. Okay, so I have the front all apart here and cleaned out a little bit. Uh, I did just want to make a quick note. Uh, you see me just kind of wiping that out. If I was rebuilding an old diff or something like that, I would take some real brake cleaner, not that green California crap. I got to go to Nevada to get it. I cannot get it in California. But you spray that in there and clean that all out really good. But I'm not really worried right now about contamination with different weight oils or anything. Uh, I pretty much got it all out. And for the front, I think I'm actually going to keep it um, with the 100,000 and keep the rear with a little more traction, maybe take a little bit off the front. Uh, we'll start there and see what it's like. I'm not an expert diff tuner or anything like that. I'm kind of just experimenting. I really want to get a look at what the diffs look like. So that is why I was pulling them all apart here. I got to look, see what they looked like, learned how to do it, and uh, kind of change up the oil. That's so. what I'm going to go with is the 100,000 in the front and the 125 in the back and the 125 in the center. So uh, we'll see how that goes and uh, see how it performs. So I'm going to top this off, get it all back together, uh, get all the wheels back on it, and we'll come back for like a final uh, wrap up and assessment. <laughs> Well, all right, guys, the truck is all back together. Everything was pretty smooth. I took the lid off just to make it a little bit easier, but the access to the disc was overall pretty easy. It's not like a hard, daunting task or anything like that. Um, I do highly recommend that you go through and check everything out because the fluid was pretty low. The center diff was definitely the dirtiest, but the level in all of them definitely was a little low. And it's also a good time to go through, check anything out, tighten up all your bolts. And it's always good to learn how to do this stuff, check it out, and stay ahead of your maintenance. You know, you never want to fall behind maintenance. I know that kind of varies a little bit different for everybody, right? Everyone does maintenance a little bit different. I'm actually not the greatest maintenance guy, but because of the weather, I've been bored. I want to bring you guys videos and show you some more on the Lozy. I thought that this would actually be a great time. Uh, I was trying to make it to the one month mark, but it's actually been only three weeks. I probably have, I don't know, 10 packs through the truck. Uh, the only visible damage I saw on the axle ah, was that little chip on the bottom in the back. I have seen that uh, on Overkill RCs. Shout out to him. He actually had a crack, I believe, in the front and the rear. And it's just part of the design. It's like a three-piecer. So where this piece bolts in from right here, I got that little chip in the corner right here. But other than that, uh, it looked pretty good, but the amount of sand inside the center differential was a little alarming. That will wear down the gears, I believe, over time. So if you're not taking that out and regularly cleaning it, 
uh, you might run into that problem. It is so easy. I would definitely recommend that you make sure that you don't have any sand or anything getting in there onto where that uh, ring and I believe that is the like the the input gear from the transmission and then that ring gear on the differential. Uh, so that's definitely something maybe you might want to address on yours. But overall, it was easy. I'm glad I now know how much oil uh, is in my diffs or fluid or silicone or whatever you want to call it. But it's all taken care of. I have gone through, done my shocks, done my diffs. So now this truck is just really ready for more bashing. So that's what we're going to do. As soon as I get a nice little break in the weather, I'll bring the truck out for you guys, let you guys uh, see some of my ramps, and uh, send the truck for some big air, and I guess I'll report back. But uh, thanks for sticking through all of this maintenance with me, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, we got the photo contest going on. It is a uh scale crawler photo contest so send me one shot rc propaganda at yahoo.mail um per an entry one one picture per an entry is what i'm i'm getting at here uh so if you want to enter you still have a few weeks left for february so send your picture on over to rc propaganda at yahoo.com and i will get that and enter you in the contest uh we're giving away a dx5 rugged at five uh 4,000 subscribers rather we're at 3,500 right now so we're getting close so make sure you subscribed if you're not subscribed make sure you follow me on Instagram RC underscore propaganda follow my wife uh, who is also on the channel a lot of the times she is at Mrs. underscore RC propaganda on Instagram um, usually we're always doing things she's kind of doing her own thing so go check her out check my page out and I'll catch you guys in the next video